Oh my god, bro. Got her. Oh my god. Got him. Oh my god, I even called it. Always a good one. I can't gain much on this fish, dude. This <laughs> thing is big. This thing is like big, big. Like might be one of my biggest. Fast fishing. Oh my gosh. Good one. Hey, got her. Yeah, I'm excited. Big day ahead. Got the trophy on the line, folks. It's gonna be myself and Old Luckers TV versus yeah. LFG and John B. For the first inaugural, what are we calling this? Just the Guggen Squad trophy no, of well, supremacy? No, no. It's, it's, no. Wait, wait, wait till you see the belt. It is absolutely phenomenal. It says, I forgot, but I had it done up. And it was under a night of distress and whiskey, and I made it. it says, I am better than you. No, it's, it, it says? says, like, we're not pro or the best, or I don't remember. It's, it's good. Just trust me. But it's gonna be cool, though. Don't know what it says. It's gonna be cool. We slept through the night in the cold tent. Like we're ready for hardcore, hardcore action. Big bass lipping, rod gripping, <laughs> mustache know. licking action. Keep, keep, keep it going. This? <laughs> I'm ready to catch a bass. Give me a bass. Harp, harp, harp. Let's That's, get him, dog. Got that dog him. in me. Oh. Got the dog in me. <laughs> Is that coyote or is that John and Heat? I'm heating, I'm horny for a bass! We are up against a uh, couple grizzly men right now who spent all night in the wilderness. We'll see how this goes. See you guys at the lake. Welcome to the land of giant bass. We've made it. The boys are just behind us. We are about to commence on the Big Bass Belt Championship, the first ever. The concept of this challenge today is it's gonna be an ongoing occurrence on the channel. We're gonna be fighting for the belt until the new year, that being 2025. But this is the first one ever. It's the first like true bass fishing challenge we've had of the season. And it just so happens to take place on this beautiful body of water right yeah. here. A potentially insane fishery where giants are being pulled out of. I've heard the lake record is 16 pounds. Oh, there's the boys. Oh. Fellas just got here just in time. The other the other crew has arrived. Uh, let's get consolidated, get the boats in the water, and get this challenge cracking. That front hook needs to be done. We're here, baby. Let's go. Best five. Ready, sit. Ready, sit, go. This is a pretty big deal here, John. This is for the belt. This is this is for the inaugural. I can kind of fish belt. There is a lot on the line. The first one, that's the biggest one. Guess what we're fishing right here? Hell yeah. Let's go. Let's ground and pound. Got the A-Rig right here. This is a good bait for all winter season. Umbrella rig with some, we've got some saucy slimmers on here. And we've got a saucy swimmer on the back. Some smaller ones and a big white one. Usually they key on the big white one. That's kind of why. I like to throw offset colors, but look how deep. Do some scope and rack is going to be more of a traditional angler and find them in the shallows. Yes. Seize it, seize it, seize it, seize it, seize it. Has not eaten it yet. Has not. Got her. There we go. There we go. There we go. Feels like a good one, too. Ready? Umbrella to the face. <sighs> wow, dude, look at the fish in here. They are hell. Oh my gosh. That's a nice one. Dude, that fish attacked. How you like that, boys? Let's go. What bam? What bam? 3.2. Three, three, yeah, 3.3. Three. I'll let you do the honors. On the slimmer. Slimmer, baby. Big slimmer. This is a tighter, wobbling bait that's good in colder water. On the umbrella rig, five of these babies, game over. Game over. That one couldn't handle it. Look at that. Got him. Nice. Need my help landing him? Out here doing the dangle fest, you already know. Okay, uh, there's some weight for you. There you go. You a little weight. I'll let you go ahead and weigh him, bud. Here, we're gonna need to get rid of this one. We have a setting on our live scope that filters out anything under two. You might want to turn that on. Two, three, four. Oh. Ooh, he's choked it too. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. You always want him to eat it like that. Yes, sir. Golly, that is Gonerville, dude. Saucy swimmer, 2.8 inch size. Gone, nice little two pounder. We really shouldn't be weighing this small fish because there is some giants in here, but we're gonna weigh him anyway. Do it. 
Two point five. You suck it, Robin. Blowjo. Suck it. Blowjo. Blowjo. <laughs> oh come on. Oh come on. Oh come on. Oh, he is giant. He is mega giant. He's still following me. Oh. Holy. F John. I got broke out by a freaking giant. Ooh. Oh my god. Hey. I mean mega. <laughs> oh huge fish. Oh, got a big one. Big one. That that's a big one. No, that's a big, big. Okay. Right. Dude, he was out here just swimming by himself. Dude, this is a big fish. Oh, yeah. Come on, be big in. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. It's a butterball. Oh, it's a good in. That's a good in right there. I don't want to get all hung up in that trolling motor. Let her run. Big, son. Oh, dude, big. Big and there we go. There we go. Ah, there we go. There we go. Okay. Be bopping around out here. Yeah, that's one of those. That's a, that's a googan bait crappie bait right there. Came out here and just domed them. Look at that. I've been working on this here recently, just so you guys know. Oh my god. Been doing a lot of off camera work. Four and a half. Four point six. Four point six. Right. Got him! Oh my god, I even called it. Always oh, a good one. I even said there's another one out there, just like it. Jeez. Another one, another good one. They're just out here in the middle. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what a beast. You want to go around the back? Dude, he is. Is this a catfish? I mean, this is this one's head shaking like crazy right now. It's almost giving me some big fish vibes or big catfish vibes. No way. No, it's a big old bass. It's a big, it's a big giant bass. Oh, look no, at no, that. no, 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 no. Look at it. Oh. Come on, big it, buddy. Butter beans, son, let's get it. This just in, Guggen Squad is hosting a tournament where you could win $30,000 in prizes. Here's how to enter. Head on over to one of your favorite places to pick up tackle. Whether it be small mom and pa tackle stores, Academy, or Walmart. Go in, pick up a pack of Guggen Baits. Upon checkout, save your receipt. Take a picture of that receipt and email it to entry at GuggenSquad.com. Grab some baits and submit your receipt and you might have a chance to win $30,000 in prizes. Butter beans, son, let's get it! Oh my Toledo. Come on, get him. Get him. Oh. Got him, son. Biggie. <laughs> What's Let's up, baby? Go, baby? Hey. Look at that donkey right there. What is up? Look at the belly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You're on that sniping game yeah, today, like baby. Dotting them up. Look at that. You take you, that monster. I'll grab the scale. How you feel about that one, son? That Ooh. makes me feel pretty good. Look at this. Another one, look what I'm using, just so you guys are aware. Look at that. Oh my God, look how barely hooked he was. No way. Oh my Almost Lord. coming off, look at that. Another one Watch on the two and a half inch dangle dart, son. Yes, sir. Seven? Seven, baby. Seven yonder, son. I just got one like four and a half, then we hit one with a seven something. Yeah, yeah. look what at that. beauty, dude. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I even called it. Said, oh, here's called another it. one. You here's did. Here's another one. Doink. Love yeah. it, look at this. This right here. Crappy gear, baby. Look at that, crappy. A little two and a half inch dangle dart. That's what I'm using right there. Love it. Oh, I love it. I'm telling you guys, forward facing sonar is extremely boring to watch, but it's one of my goals this year is to become an extremely good fisherman, like with techniques I'm not proficient at, and this is one of them. I'm really good at shallow fishing, but so is everybody else in the world. But this kind of technique, this puts a little bit of a tool in the back of my pocket I can pull out when I need to know how to do something like that. There we go. Doink. Boom. Bam, baby. As soon as we come around this corner, we're gonna get the talking right to the yeah. face. How big uh, do you think? I'm gonna say eight. I'm gonna say eight, yeah, something like that. It had to be big. Rob was yelling big time. So we came back in a creek that turned out to be uh, a little poo poo. <laughs> I don't know why we were back there. We just kept uh, going. I don't know. It's not a bad idea. Yeah. I would say later this afternoon might be you know, better, but it just didn't look good. And um, 
We just heard the boys' screams oh, echoing with the wind oh. blowing towards us. Just, it had to be big. I think the small one's about to eat. Yep, he is. I got the smaller one. There was two big ones and a smaller one with them. That's another big one. Yeah, this was a smaller of the three. It's away. Oh, they ain't going away. Oh, not going away. I think I got three or four pounder, I think. Could be one hydrilla gorilla hiding in here. Oh, God. We smoked it, dude. Smoked it. Let's go. It's a big one. Absolutely smoked it in the grass. Good fish. You know, I might be able to get it. I mean, just clocked it like a jig. It's like a four pounder. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Stay in the zone, buddy. I got him. You got him. Oh. Oh. Let's go. Breaking out the clutch. Hydrilla Gorilla, baby. Ah. Coming in a little lower than I thought. It's a 4 6. Love you. See you, sweetie. And she gone. I don't think you were there. Uh, me and Rob were on a lake really close to there, and I caught a 9 on this. And then last year, I caught a 10 yeah, that's kind of your on this. It's just a, it's a big bass, early season bait for me. Just annoying. Man, we're seeing fish, we just can't get them to eat, trying all kinds of different stuff. I don't know, we're, uh, we're sucking it up, but that's okay. We're still seeing, seeing some begging, so they're down there. Let me switch that battery real quick. Uh, yeah, I have to, because that's insanely annoying. All right, battery's dead. I got to do some hardware work. Fun What the f Thank you. Yep. You help? Yep. Barely hooked. Come on, buddy. You got her. Give me that face. Ah. Nice fish. He's a gorilla. That is a gorilla. And hydrilla. One hook on the clutch. Clutch, baby. Good fish, Ooh. man. I say seven or eight. <laughs> there That's we go. Good one. Holy. There we go. Hey, Woo. literally did not have the graph on at all. Don't need it. Don't need it for the clutching. That is a toad, folks. Coming in clutch. Let's get a weight on that. I'm weighing it again. It, okay, it is on seven. So that's it. seven pounds, zero ounce fish right there, guys. I honestly, when I first saw its mouth, I was like, this could be, you know, an eight, nine pounder. I didn't think it was a 10, but that is a really, really healthy fish. Great fish right there, guys. That's gonna add to our bag. We're gonna let this fish go. Even Steve, even Steven, seven pounder. Beautiful. I can feel her belly twitching, man. So hungry for that clutch. John has got the mechanic tools out, and we're I think we're trying to swap the power to another battery so we can get some live scope back and going. I think that's really how we're gonna catch a giant, like a double D, but Keep grinding, keep grinding with the uh, traditional baits here and some of the the grasses, and uh, I still think it's gonna get better as it warms up. So let's keep it rocking. Well, we have hit a classic midday lull right now. Rob was tearing them up out deep with that little crappy rig, but um, those fish have stopped biting, and the shallow bite really has not been there at all. It's going incredibly slow for me. I'm dragging a little blazing worm right now, just trying to make something happen off these little ledges and riverbed right here. It's been tough, but I know I, I'm pretty sure those guys have five fish because I've seen them catch five fish. So we're definitely working from behind right now, but that's okay. We're used to that, right, Rob? Working from behind. Yeah. I the problem is I took my boat in the salt, and this is not a saltwater boat. It did great. Mind you, but the hardware on here is not meant for salt water. All right, we got we got power. It looks like on the front graph. All right, we're back in the game. Yes. Got him. Drags. Got him. Got him. Is that a limit? That's a limit, dude. That's like a chunk, dude. That's a limit. Nice job, man. Thanks, man. I'm gonna stick. Yeah. And it's a four. Four. Absolute Unreal. chunk. Another one for the chandelier. The shad chandelier. 
and the swimmers. Nice, man. Put it there. That's our limit. Oh. Bye. There's one. Got him. It's on the bottom. Oh, God, he's heavy, dude. <laughs> he's heavy. This is two pounds, 12 ounces. A little bit of a call there. I don't think so. I think it'll help us, but it is a fish. Three, one, yep. Another three pounder. Had some really good opportunities on big fish today, but hey, at least we're getting bet still. Thank you. Bye bye. You got over it. Got him. Good one? Big one. Giant, giant. Finally a giant, giant. I think it's a giant. Kill him, good. good one, good one, good one, boys. That's a really nice one. Jumping the trees. <laughs> turn back, turn back, turn back. Whoa. These trees are scaring me, dude. Oh my god, I can't gain much on this fish, dude. This thing is big. <laughs> this thing is like big, big. Like might be one of my biggest. This is one of the longest fights I've ever seen. That's big and oh my gosh. Good one. Give me the face! You got her! Oh. You got her! Let's go! Let's go, dude! Yes, bro! Well, that's gonna go close to that nine, is at least. It. Oh, oh, oh baby! Oh, yeah! That's the fish we needed. God. What's crazy, dude, though, is we've seen probably 20 fish about this size on the grass. Yeah, on the forward. It just takes one of them to slip up and uh, eat the jerk. We think? I think it's going close to 10. Uh, it feels close to 10. I hope so. It's a unit. <laughs> that jerk bait is, dude. I got one freaking hook in her. One hook. I knew she didn't eat it well. This Moment of it. truth. This is for all the marbles. Not quite. Not quite the double we're after, but a nine pound, one ounce fish will do, oh, man. Oh, jerk bait Let's on 12 go. pound line around <laughs> trees, guys. That was an incredible fight. Good oh, job. Thank you, man. I was so worried. I, oh, it's a unit. That is a unit, Absolute man. Absolute unit. Let's get some cool picks with that fish. Yeah. Center back, too. God, that just bumped us up. We, we, we called it three to a nine. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm gonna give her some water real quick. Let's go. Unreal. Let's go. Yeah. Nine pound, nine, nine pounds, one ounce, 25 inches. I imagine in a couple days, once this fish puts on the feed bag, it will be a 10 pounder, or it was a 10 pounder, and starting to think about getting in that spawn mode. Older fish, very different looking fish compared to the ones, the smaller ones we were catching. It's more of a Florida bass than a hybrid F1, but unreal. We're gonna get some pictures of center back. Beautiful fish, beautiful fish like this deserve to live and thrive and to grow and to be caught by somebody else. So with that being said, we're sending her back. Yes! Oh! <laughs> There it is. It's even better than I thought. They don't know we just caught a giant. We thought about it though. You guys have a limit? No, I broke off two, or I broke off that big one and lost another one. I lost the big one. We just got three. Well. That's it. Well, we're figuring them out. We just released a. Did we tell them? Yeah. We it keep over it. Eight. It was over eight. Damn. I got a guy in the back catches a. F He's good at catching wood. <laughs> just caught literally every Dude, stick at this place. Robin. Anti-Lojo. Yes, he is. He's got it snagged as many times as I have, but the way he tells, I'm a bad teammate. In this lake. Damn. I wonder what size that belt is. Like, I just, I haven't put it on yet. I'm just wondering, dude. What, uh, what waist size is that belt? Like, you think it'll, you think it'll look good on me and John or what? Yeah, it would. It would look good. I just need, I, I just need, uh, I don't know what the f I'm doing in my life, so. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Got him. There you go. There you go. Man, catching on like literally everything today. Pretty interesting. Maybe four. Or it's probably just there. Got a good hook in it. We're good. Nice. Right. Thanks, man. Oh. Yes, sir. Oh. I would call. Pumpkin. Oh, yeah. Belly. How about four pounds, three ounces for your boys, Rackley and John B. Get you some of that meat. 102, 183. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It smells good. Back in the water she goes. Thank you, old girl, for playing and biting. She's all over it. She's all. Got her. Oh, my gosh, bro. Got her. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's a big one. That's a big one. Put it really in. Put it really in. That's a big one. Damn. Oh, that's a drag right there. That's a big one. 
Ooh, baby. That was nuts. I've never set the hook on a fish and had the drag. Oh like, my god. It's a good one. Not huge, huge, but it's gonna help us. Man handler. Woo! Let's go, Daughter, brother. Baby. Oh my gosh, look at that fatty. That probably, thing ripped five drag. Or six. I do when it hit drag like that, I'm like, this thing's gotta be insanely huge, but just a five or six pounder. <laughs> <laughs> Crappie jig, basically. Oh, that's awesome. Give her a sniff. Yeah. How'd she smell? <sighs> oh, God. That's awesome. <laughs> that's, that, look at the look at the belly. Yeah. Dude, this one might go seven. I think it's not very it's long. It's a six. It's a six, six for sure. But... Let's call a four with the six pound, six, six ounce large. Six. There you go. Mm. Mm. Love doing some six pound curls. That was a good fish. Really healthy. Really pretty. I get a tiny little. Shad imitation soft plastic. We're gonna get this guy sent back down there and uh, catch his brother and sister. There was three more with him, so it's a good sign. Seems like as the wind starts to die down and the sun starts to set, they're they're starting to turn on. These fish we definitely yeah. fished for in the past. Oh yeah, a couple hours and now they're actually eating. Time to send old Sally back. Goodbye, girl. Kicked and she's gone. Starting to shed some layers, guys. Don't forget. New apparel is available at GoonSquad.com. I love this little little peachy flat color. If you want to go flamboyant too, we got that. We got all of it. So check it out. Use promo code LFG at checkout. GoonSquad.com. Got one moving up on the bank, on the lippy, on the clutch. It's good fish. I mean, we're just catching like threes and fours now. It's like, yeah, it's all right. It's got to be bigger than uh, four. This looks like a solid three. Man, he's not even gonna come off. Like, that's the fish that should come off. Terrible landing. But he cracked it, man. I absolutely love a clutch bite. It's literally a three pounder. You wanna know what exactly a three pounder looks like? This is it. Three pound o. A dead set three and dead That'd set seven. Gone. Just doing a little math back here, and it appears that we have a little over 31 pounds of bass for our best five. It's not bad, but I'd like to take it to another level with like an 11 pounder. <clears throat> Lojo's frustrated. They just can't get in a groove with that. And me and John, we we just we slept in a tent last night, an icy tent. We bonded. We're cool. We're chilling right now. I don't know. We're gonna get boat close wherever he is, I guess. The gosh dang trench hog, finally. God, six and a half hours later. Nice. I bounce off a rock and he goes, don't. I said, nah, that ain't no fish. What do we got? Another three and a half here? I'm gonna say he's probably what, three, three and a half? Yeah. Probably a little more than three and a half. Yeah, 375. 375. Football. A little football fish right there. Almost four pounder. Honest to God, that was a shocker right there. I got one too. You? Yep. Feels pretty large. Hold on a second. What do we got going on here? Oh, Jesus, a wheeze. He's big. Oh, oh, oh my God, he's big. Hold on, hold on, come on, come on. All right. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to flip him in. Not flip him, I'm just gonna grab him. Good morning, bro. Is the pipe finally starting to turn around for us? <laughs> so we just go six hours between bites and we just start scooping them off trees. Oh, I thought he was bigger than that. I mean, that's that's a butterball though. He's a three pounder, oh, but. Up in the dang tree? Yeah, I think yeah. so. That was on the uh, that Blazing Worm XL, by the way. I upgraded that earlier, that bigger Blazing Worm. I'm trying to get that big bite. Oh, dude, that's a little butterball right there. He's that's a two and a half pounder, three pounder. Right he's there. buttered up. He's got to go three. No, that's a solid 294. All right, well, we do have a five fish limit. We're going to have to do some calculations as to what our poundage is. But, God, I'm so glad to be holding the fish in my hand right now. You guys have no idea. <laughs> it's been a long freaking day. So that puts our total up to, I think we're right around 20 pounds. In fact, we might even be approaching 21 pounds. Now, we know those guys have caught at least one eight pounder or bigger, and I've seen them catch another big fish. So 
Maybe this is closer than we think though, Rob. I mean, I honestly have no idea. So getting close to the end here, official weigh-ins are coming soon. A week or two, it's like gradual deal. Oh God, oh that's God. a good one. Yeah. There we go, baby. That's a big one. Bigger than seven? I don't know, but it's big. Or it's foul hooked. No, I think it's big. I just saw the weight. It's, good. it's a good one. Nice way to end the day. I know. Nice way to end it. Got to end it on a boomer bait. Oh, I'm losing my voice. Not hooked good. None of these fish are eating it well. Ah, oh, fatty. Grab her, dude. Grab that face. I usually I'm really good. Dude. Boom! That's Let's a go. toad. One hook. Just about every fish we've had today has had know. one freaking hook. Dude, look how not a very long fish, but just that's a try. 5 0. 5 0. 5 0. That is a plump one. That is a plumpy right there, guys. All right, we're going to let this fish go right here with the sunset. Oh, yeah, baby. Love to see it. I think I think we're done here. I think case closed. Yep. We rest our case. Bodied them. Put it there. We woke up. We were looking for blood. We had one mission. And that arr, was. Arr. Remember you start barking? <laughs> yeah, I did. That dog out of me now. Blew off some steam. Damn, Caught a nine pounder today. And man. a seven. And a six. And a five. Our smallest fish was four pounds. That's crazy. That does not suck, brother. I think we did something today. The boys are just a stone's throw away from the ramp. We're about to tally up the score and figure out who is coming back to camp. The belt. The big bass belt. All right, so this is the inaugural, the very first ever, Guggen belt that's going to be given to my, my fellow guys over here. But I want to tell you guys, so this thing is going to be kind of transferred between teams throughout the year. And on the back of it, we're going to be writing who won and what the date is. So at the very end of the year, this is going to go up inside the Guggen uh, HQ over there inside of Crum, Texas. So you guys can actually see this belt, but it's gonna be transferred from team to team. But as you can see right here, it says uh, on the top, it says Top Guggen World Champion. Then it says not the worst, but not pro. So I'm gonna have to give this belt to my boys for the very first one because, well, we lost. We had like 20, almost 21 pounds. Almost 21 pounds right. today. So it's, it's not a bad day, but they had roughly 33. 33. 30, 30, 30. Dirty 30 for oh. the very first ever oh. inaugural belt. So for you, you and all wow. right, there you guys go. Dude, come on. Don't be shy. Try it on. Yeah, try it on together. There you go. Well, it was a, uh, sweet, man. we fought valiantly, you know, thanks to our finesse techniques today. We made it happen. I, I want to say finesse, but Rackley got her done on the old clutch. Boomer. Came in, Boomer came in style. clutch. With the boomer, boomer style. And uh, now we have the belt, but like Rob said, this might not be ours for very long. The next time we do a challenge, it might be transferred to the next team, right. depending on what it might, may be. And it may not always be a bass fishing challenge. It might be a cooking challenge. It might be a uh, carp catch and cook. Who knows? You'll have to stay tuned for the next episode of the Guggen Squad. We're peacing out, signing out. And you boys want to say before we bid farewell and say goodnight under the starry West Texas lights. It's actually a lot nicer tonight, so. It's beautiful. It's going to be a good night. So I hope you guys had a great time over here on the Goon Squad channel. We love you guys. We'll catch you guys on another one. Oh, he's on too. Listen up. The Goon Squad is hosting a massive online fishing tournament this April with $30,000 worth of cash and prizes. Here's how to enter. All you have to do is visit a local tackle shop or one of the big stores like Academy, Walmart, or Shields. You purchase literally any Guggen product. Take a picture of your receipt and submit it to this email address right here. You got to get your entries in between now and the end of March. So guys, get out. After it, right now we're hosting this tournament just for you guys to give something back to the fishing community. I hope to see a bunch of you guys out there.